Let's take a look at the build you saw in that ISA. In a Fleet Intel Assault Cruiser T6, using a phaser beam build. I'm using the uh, prolonged engagement phaser beam array, a regular phaser beam array pen, sensor linked phaser beam array, uh, you can also have uh, another sensor linked, then agony phaser energy torpedo. Then for deflector I use the Elite Fleet Intervention Protomatter deflector from the Fleet Colony with the crit severity uh, weapon specialization. Then for impulse engines I use the prevailing fortified impulse engines from the competitive reputation with the turn rate boost on the engineering ability so you have more control. Then from the competitive the prevailing fortified warp core and the uh, prevailing integrated resilient shield array also from the competitive reputation with the crit chance and severity this one and that gives you the three piece for uh, starship hull capacity weapon specialization so crit chance and uh, damage resistances then for off weapons i use sensor linked omnidirectional phaser beam array Toilet Team Enhanced Omnidirectional Phaser Beam Array from a Mission, not sure which one. Uh, I think we've run off Jordi LaForge. Um, then the Kinetic Cunning Beam from the Omega Reputation and another Phaser Beam Array pen. You can also again have another uh, Sensor Link. Same goes for the Kinetic, you can also swap that out for another Straight Beam. But you'll have to do a bit more uh, broadsiding. Then for devices, I use the Red Matter Capacitor, the Subspace Field Modulator and the Battery Energy Amplifiers. For consoles, I use the Bioneural Infusion Circuits from the Lobi Store for the Grid Severity, no capacity. Then the Tachyonetic Converter also from the Lobi Store for the Flight Rate, Critical Chance and Severity. Then the Weapon Sensor Enhancer also from the Lobi Store for the Accuracy Rating. I usually use this for cannon builds but it worked out pretty decently on this ship. Then the Domino console from the Bajoran Interceptor for the phaser damage the, and the clicky. And the hostile acquisition for the clicky and also uh, again a more of a cannon uh, console but it worked out. You can also use any of these three um, to replace some of those. The reinforcement armament is together with the Toilithium Enhanced which would give you the two-piece firing cycle and flight speed or the kinetic cunning beam uh, console which gives you the two-piece for that and also the console itself is pretty nice as well with the crit chance and severity or the quantum phase converter from the sunrise mission which gives an extra uh, phaser damage then I uh, use the dynamic power reduce redistribution module, pretty much the standard DPS console for the clicky and the passive. Then I use the disruption pulse emitter, um, it's the two piece from this one, you can also use the torpedo variety which is uh, the second, no the point defense bombardment warhead from the NX uh, escort. But I don't have that one on this character. But for the two piece you get the these awesome boosts. And then for tactical consoles, three vulnerability locators phaser. You can also use the um, these guys from the colony, the new ones, uh, if you need a little bit more healing. Then for skills, I use my relatively uh, standard skill tree. I have a detailed rundown on my channel if you're interested. Then the Miracle Worker and Strategists are my specializations that I use. Then for traits, I used Contexts for Kings, Anchored, Superior Beam Training, Operative, A Good Day to Die, Beam Barrage, Self-Modulating Fire, Fleet Coordinator, and inspirational leader. Then for starship traits I use emergency weapon cycles, supercharged weapons, 
calm before the storm, cold hearted, and promise of ferocity. Then for the space reputation I use magnified firepower from the gamma wrap, controlled countermeasure with uh, procs together with uh, cold hearted, precision for the crit chance, targeting system for the crit severity, and announced armor penetration for the armor pen. Then for active reputation, I uh, use all the space ones, pretty much. Then for stations, I use two SRO attacks from the Fleet Embassy for the crit chance and severity from the Spear Roman Operative. Then I use a Vanguard Engineer and Nuhar uh, Nayote Uhura and the Pirate Efficient Psy from the Alliance's missions in the Delta thing. With the ability Science Team 1, has limiters 2, uh, override sepsism safeties 3, torpedo spread 1, attack pattern beta 1, paw 3, and uh, chemocide laced weaponry 1, engineering team 1, ox to bat 1, emergency power to weapons 3, ox to bat 3, emergency power to weapons 1, and directed energy modulation. Then uh, lastly the active DOFs. Uh, chance for stacking crit severity, uh, firing energy weapons, space damage increase against Borg, tech pen and beta restores hull, and three technicians for the Ox to Bat build. I hope this was useful. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.